Hey now everyone and welcome to the Brick Grassland DLC and 1.12 update overview video. In this video, and sorry for the pun at the beginning, we are going to cover every new animal, every new thing from this brand new DLC that is going to be launched tomorrow. But today you are going to get a wonderful little overview already while the hyenas are doing some cool stuff in front of us already. Now, first things first, I wanted to deliver a pretty different video to guys, but unfortunately... Due to all my issues and stuff, um, it is very much just a couple hours before this uh, embargo drops and I just need to bring something together. So we're going to check all the new animals on pause mode first uh, so you guys get a very, very clean view of the new animals as they are in the game. And we will make our way through the animals, then through all the 1.1 update, uh, 2 update and also some uh, pieces that you may not have uh, expected or seen yet. Um, so yeah, let's do this. First of all, we are going to start with the striped hyena and yes i know from the comments i got a lot of wild feedback about these animals um a lot of negative feedback which i can't really share to be honest um i think it depends a lot on uh what reference images you look at and i think they have a uh, have done a great job uh, on these hyenas and yes i get you can you can debate the face a little bit uh, that's definitely true but other than that um, the face goes more more in line with the planet zoo animals in general so I think it's totally fine uh, to have those face like it's almost like a little bit stylized to be a bit more comic-y um, I find it totally fine because all of the dogs in the game uh, and you know hyena goes uh, quite like into the dog region of things uh, it looks like you know pretty fine to me and um, Definitely not like a been too wrong problematic, you know what I mean? Anyhow, what's going on with one of the most impressive things added to the game, and that is the Amadio. This one looks absolutely fantastic. Let me just go out of this view and zoom in. Oops, that was the wrong one. Zoom in a little bit on this fellow over here. Just look at the detail. Oh my god, I mean, doesn't that look fantastic? I'm just going to go out a little bit so we can zoom a bit more careful. Oh god, it looks so good. It just looks so freaking awesome. Okay, now even with those little hairs on here, um, let's follow this thing around because they have some really cool animation. They even do roll. I haven't seen them roll yet myself, but the lady did confirm she saw them roll while uh, Eben did confirm that they did, um, you know, do a little bit of a uh, standing up animation as we've seen in some of the screenshots. You know what, just let's speed up the game and see if we can see anything here uh, because, you know, I don't know if they need like a certain kind of... Uh, toy to do certain things but um yeah let's just see oh look at that they're cuddling oh my god this is so cute oh, i love that i love that look at this little cuddle animation like nose to nose oh that's so cute all right, um, I'm not going to waste too much time over here. If I do catch some of the animations, I will go back to it later on. Uh, but you guys definitely want to see more of the animals that come to the game and all the other stuff. And um, so we just do that, I guess, you know, unless you are just doing something for us right now. You don't. So let's move over to the next one, which is the Karakal. And that is uh, also a very beautiful looking animal. Can I just... Hello? Why am I not... Ah, there you go. Flying over. They should be in here. There you go. Look at that one. Ah, oh, it's looking so good, too. Uh, it's such a different type of cat. Um, and the animation is absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, Frontier has pleased us with a lot of new animations. And that is something I really do love. Look at just uh, like the ears and the little hair on top of the ears that are animated themselves. Like, it really does look fantastic. And I really do love how these animals just overall do their job. Also, how did this... Like, there's one wrong animal in here, and I don't know how it got in here, but I think I did a little mistake with that one. <laughs> but, you know, we're going to check the main wolf out in a second. Um, by the way, this is looking fantastic. Okay, let's go on uh, to our friend, the main wolf, who's already doing some stuff down here for us. Not sure, it shouldn't be in here, but again, such a beautiful animal. Oh, look at the animation. I love it. That is so cute, isn't it? Also, like how it's positioning itself, like with the with these long, thin uh, legs, almost like a little model. Oh, I love it. Just so well done. These animals are all so well done. Oh, what a gigantic jump! But that looks, you know, that was definitely one of the jumps that looked a little bit better. Oh no, I did put them actually all in here. This is why. Okay, I forgot I, uh, in which type of habitat I did put them. 
But yeah, so apparently those fellows over here look gorgeous as well. Um, they do have a very, very interesting way of moving. Um, so yeah, the main wolf definitely for me personally is a very welcome addition to the game. Um, I'm very positively surprised by this model and the, you know, overall feeling it adds to the game for me personally. As I, as I said, I didn't really know too much about them, uh, but I definitely want to uh, add a bit more knowledge for me personally to this animal. Anyhow, it's flying over because there's even more to this game that we need to check out and to this update. Oh my god, there's a wallaby just going back into its habitat as it should do. Uh, there you go, the redneck wallaby. Um, I think there's not really that much to say about this fellow over here because, you know, that's a little kangaroo type of animal and um, it's looking really cute. Um, I do favor that one over the red kangaroo that we have in the game. Um, the red kangaroo obviously is the, like, most iconic animal, especially for Australia, but I just like them more. They are just more cute over here, these little wallabies. I love them. Uh, and yeah, about animation and stuff, it's pretty much like a kangaroo you would expect. It's a lot more fluffy. Um, it has some, you know, unique things that it does with its hand and, on, and so on. So really nice, but um, nothing in particular that just uh, knocks you out of the chair, I guess. Um, so as much as I love this one, it's definitely not one of the favorite ones in here. There are so many good ones over here, and I'll give you a little conclusion at the end uh, that you will know what my favorite is. Last but not least, uh, from the habitat animals, we do have the blue wildebeest and the ever so aggressive emu. Um, I definitely do not want to share a habitat with these birdies over here at all. The one thing I never want to do is go into a bird cage that contains either ostriches or emus. I really do know why people always stress the fact that these look like the last living dinosaurs. I mean, not that, not even that they're like obviously the most close relatives to dinosaurs in fact, but ah oh boy, I can really tell how frightening dinosaurs must have looked. Yeah, you're just like following the camera, aren't you? Uh, must have looked with feathers and stuff and just like these ones are in particular look at look at the way they run they have just frontier have done such a good job in capturing the essence of these animals i uh yeah again i just don't want to meet them at night and i don't want to go into the habitat but the blue wallabies is exactly on the opposite side of things um even though i don't want to share a habitat with them either because of these horns and stuff not sure if they feel good in my chest so um basically do want to avoid that but Overall, this animal just looks funny. I don't, I, I can't help myself, but they just look funny. And I really, I, I, yeah, I can't really say what it is, but the model looks gorgeous. Really cool. Definitely the, the better wild beast of both, at least for me personally, uh, but still nothing too exciting. You know, I've got to be honest here. It's, it's a beautifully done animal, but that's definitely my least favorite of the pack. But I have to say, I, I'd, I'd rate it very high, the overall pack, because um, the, choice of animals is pretty damn impressive and there's one last thing i need to show you so let's move over to that one all right we are in the explore mode and you know why because we are going to enter one of the new exhibits and this one is for the butterflies and i'm not going to name all of them you're gonna have to check out the uh wonderful notes of the dlc or the information about these i know that one of this has the name swallowtail the other one is monarch and whatever but i'm not I'm definitely not a butterfly expert, but what I am an expert on is the fact that this one, this one in particular shows why they have integrated this exhibit in the first place. Now, um, everything about these things is better than with the bats, even though I like the bats at the end of the day, but the butterflies are just so much more of a value addition to the game. Um, and, and and just reasonable and it just makes a lot of sense there are a couple of things about this exhibit that i really have a lot of question marks towards frontier not gonna lie this is gonna be something i have to discuss but overall it looks fantastic the 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 butterflies even though they are freaking tiny they are beautifully made like look at that the, the whole body and everything is animated i'm actually going to show you with a, a bit of a zoom camera let me just check for a good spot to show you um i think over here makes sense okay let's go in and zoom in a little so there you go look at look at that one i can actually go even further in there you go the whole body is done everything is done and the same goes for the other ones as you can see over here 
and also going down that one too. So it's not only like there's a little animation or a VFX or anything, it is the entire body done. It's really hard to get that close to these animals, by the way. Um, I just achieved that by the Ansel movement. Um, let me just, wait, you're flying. Can I just pause the game in the right situation? Let me just, whoop, don't do, oh, look at that. There's one. Where's the other one gone? It's up there, okay. But I just wanna check out this one. There you go. Let's zoom in a little bit again. There you go. Oh, it's so good. Look at how the, how like the, is wings even the right word for it? But you know, how they bend, really cool. So um, one thing in particular I want to stress is the fact that the flying animation of the butterflies is 10 times, wait, 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 wait. what the? What the F? I have not seen that whatsoever. That is so cool. Like, what is going on? This dude just like randomly has it on his finger. I did not know that there is like a guest interaction. Oh, but that's so cool. Look, look, and I caught it on camera. I can't believe it. I, I just really, really, really can't believe it. That's so freaking cool. I mean, I mean, just look at this. Just look at that. Oh, that's so good. Honestly, guys, I did not know that this was a thing uh, until this very second. So you experienced that with me. Um, I love the fact how he's just like holding the head. Like I do the same. If I find something cute, I just hold, hold the head of my little one. I don't know why. You just do that. It's like a dead thing. I don't know. But it's so cool. Like they just point their fingers and the butterflies come flying. Wait, do they do that again? Let me just go back into the uh, hey, 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 back, back into the explore camera. I want to see if that they do the same with here now. Look, they point their fingers and do they come flying over here? That was so freaking awesome. I want to see that again. Wait, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and catch if if they are lucky enough to have. One. There's one, like flying very close to them. There you go. That is so cool. I, 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 I did not know. That is so freaking awesome. Okay, so Frontier, you really knocked one out of the park over here. Um, not sure what, what's happening if the educators are going to do something with these, but that is so cool. These little ones are just like flying towards the guests and landing on their fingers. Okay, so pretty much that is one of the coolest things that I've ever added to the game. Honestly, that is freaking cool. Look, I mean, that is so freaking awesome. Yeah, I just, I, I gotta love that. I gotta love that. Okay, so um, this gives even more praise for these things. And I love how everyone is like pointing their fingers to towards the uh, butterflies to come. Anyhow, okay. So one thing uh, about this habitat in particular is that there is something new, as you can see. And this is why I left it the way it is. Um, there is a netting around this. We gotta talk about this netting in a second. But first of all, we're going to make this all uh, null again. And then we are going to make these, uh, like you can make this um, pretty much non, which is funny if you raise this up uh, because it basically is empty as you can see, or you can put it into mulch this time. Remember with the bats, it was like stone. This time it's mulch, which is kind of cool that we have the option now that this is different things. And then you can also change some of the colors, but since we don't have walls. However, as you can tell, now some of the enrichment pieces were gone especially the hanging baskets. And as always, we can change the layout. This is the minimum layout you have to go with. Um, one thing in particular I don't really like is the fact that the bushes have to be in there. Um, these houses are kind of nice to cover up, you know, there's not a big deal and they would fit into any garden or anything you would build. Um, but then there is like a lot, 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 a lot of stuff you can do. Actually, the mister can go. Um, so there's a lot you can add and now we are getting into something very strange now see frontier did give us this option now and these two plants that in are in as a uh, base they are basically from the base game however this plant over here this plant these two or three plants this plant and those two 
are not in the game and guess what they didn't give us this one as an option however they did at least give us something else now let me just quickly show you a couple of other things in here um you have got this kind of fruit table on which they will eventually land as well they will eventually land into these palm trees they on, on some of the flowers as well and then we have these kind of sugar sugar kind of things uh, where they can land on and sip on some of the sugar which is kind of cool and i had a little hint in there with my little uh, sugar lady song um but you know obviously no one could have guessed that um which it is what it is you know there's nothing in particular that i can point out else however we have to talk about something else now and this is what they gave us and in terms of items now as you can tell this is all the items that they gave us with this update i'm not sure this and you know this is all in the free update which is rather cool uh, but yeah knowing frontier I should have known that they did not include a flexi color version. They, in fact, did include four different pieces. And I, I, at least I'm happy because um, some of you guys commented that we had these plants in the game already. No, we, no, 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 no. We did not have them in game. I was right. I saw four different version of basically the same. Um, but no, they <laughs> they gave us four different versions. So um, they gave us this one over here, the blue. Uh, the big blue stem dry large and you know medium and small and then we got the same one but with uh, actually colored and then we do also have the red oat grass and then we have the red oat grass large and uh, yeah blah 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 you know and then we got some other cool thing actually buffalo grass or buffalo grass is kind of cool and the buffalo grass dried um the buffalo grass itself is kind of cool because this one as you can see is rather um lush which is kind of cool you can make some really cool meadows out of it um and uh, i think it's one of the most fluffy grass types we have in the game quite yet it looks really cool and you're saving some of the pixels uh, if you do this with other pieces so that's kind of cool i really do like it and we also got this little planter and the planter chain not gonna lie the planter chain is definitely what we builders will favor the most but this this one over here is also kind of neat and in fact this is the only thing we got from the exhibit which is super weird uh, i do want to have all the other plants too but we didn't get them now let's speak about these nettings so this is this is nice we got netting pieces one two three four and five in fact nice that we got them but at least if you gotta give us this we do have this this and this as well so it's kind of nice that we have this piece too however it is not even flexi color and the problem is it is one of these weird kind of zoo nets that don't even look like a net to be honest it looks like a semi translucent or transparent glass whatever i mean obviously it's not a grass because it's not as you know shiny but you know what i mean it's not really usable as a netting in the game so it's kind of there will i ever use it i don't know i know why it has to be like super like super dense in terms of the netting and structure because anyway else you would have like butterflies flying out but i don't know it is <sighs> and also we don't we didn't get a single piece so with a single piece at least you could have made like a little bit of a hanging animation at least it is weird not really sure what i should think about it but you know that's that let's speak about the free update uh, elements because we don't only have this one we do also have some other stuff to do so let's talk about that now first things first we have to talk about the tour i unfortunately can't show you the whole tour because for me the game keeps crashing when i have the tour and i can't load back in into the tour i know this problem is already fixed for the version that you guys will see tomorrow but i unfortunately can only show you the tour itself so we do have the tour point down here and you can put the tour points wherever you want but uh I would definitely put them close to habitat so what i'm going to do real quick to show you how easy it is i'm going to set up a tour real quick okay so um first of all i want that everyone is going to be gathering together here and the tour should definitely end i'm just going to plan that out first of all here now we want to have a stop over at this habitat uh, obviously we are going to have like another stop down here uh because that makes sense from here we go over all the way to this nice little part over there then we would make our backstage tour as said last time over here this fits very well in and the whole tour goes all the way over here into this tiny bit and then we make our way back to the lions there you go and then we will go all the way into can we have it into here yes i can into the butterflies and then back 
awesome. Now, the only thing you have to do is you've got to go into this tour thing over here and then you can go into the tour manager. You can also say what kind of educational content you want to have in here, but we don't want to have any. So you go and open the tour manager and then you say, OK, it's create a new tour. We show that uh, showcase. There you go. And you can say uh, the ticket price includes blah, blah. And then we make two and then it's five for the whole thing because the ticket price includes fee. And then you can select the tour start, which should be that one confirm. Now you can also select the tour end already at the beginning if you want to. I'm going to select this one. Boom. And now you can select the points. Now you go through here and you just click all the points in the order you want to have them visited. So I want to have them visited this one first, then that one, then the one on the bridge, then the one back here, all the way in the back behind our wonderful uh, wine yard. Then we are going to visit the lions. And from the lions, we go all the way into the butterfly area, which is somewhere over here. Awesome. Everything is done. Confirm. And the tour is pretty much done. And the only thing you now need to do is assign the species to the different things. You can just say, okay, blue willowbeast, and then you can just go back to the next one and so on and so forth. It also automatically jumps to the next one, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm just, you know, whatever. I, I don't want to go and uh, do it for all now, but you get the idea. So everything is done. Everything is operational. And once you've selected all the animals towards this, you only need to have an educator within the area where the tour is set. And then they will automatically go there. Groups will gather together and then go. Um, if the tour is taking too long because the distances between the tour points um, may be too long, actually people will get bored and the tour may be abandoned by them cancelling it, which is really cool. And also if they don't gather together too many people, then the tour is also cancelled. So it can not only have a positive but also like a kind of negative impact to your educational rating if they don't finish the tour because it's too boring or anything like that. I really do like the fact that this is all happening. Um, I haven't found an option in the menu, so I thought there might have been something in here for the staff, but there isn't. You only have to add this via your tour boards over here, as you can see, and then go into the tour manager and everything is fine. Uh, the problem, by the way, is that we didn't assign all the animals. Let me just quickly check this so you guys get an idea. I mean, we do have these two seconds. Um, we just jump through all of those. Yeah, this is the caracal, and then we just go all the way here. And now in the tour manager, everything is operational. You can see that with everything is checked. Really love how Frontier slowly got into the vibe of making this one happen. Um, so yeah, this is that. But there's one more thing I want to show you, and this is the bulldoze tool. All right, so the bulldoze tool might not be too exciting at first glance but once you tested it you know it is i hope the game doesn't crash because i had it but you can also uh, say what you want to delete so that's kind of cool it's almost like the boulders tool in city skylines which is pretty dope because move it had one of the coolest uh, tools to delete stuff and you can choose whether you want to have nature and construction you want to have facilities and exhibits as well you want to have path you want to have habitat objects which is kind of cool let's say you just want to have um let's start with path for example now this thing over here as you can see i'm just going to bulldoze everything and you can see it spares out the nature in the middle which is really dope um, and you've seen how quickly that worked so if you do say i want to have just that in the middle gone you just do it that way the path remains but everything else is gone the same goes if i go over here look at how easily it bulldozes i really love that i really do love that and you can also of course as always um with like Control z you can redo everything you did so apparently it's not a big uh, problem if you did do this um so it's really cool, cool you can also habitat objects path objects path extras is one of these things i love the most because you were never able to delete uh, the benches and bins and stuff but now you can just easily go through and you just delete bins and benches how cool is that i mean this is something i was really really missing in the game um and obviously let me just check everything you so you can see what i meant by it's very helpful because now we just bring this to the biggest size and now you can just it is so cool uh you are about to remove a section yeah yeah okay proceed just yeah yeah okay 
I love that. It's such a fun thing to do. Look at that. Just, just bulldozed all the crap around here. Uh, it, it is just really cool. And you can obviously just, again, Control z will bring out all the stuff. Sometimes you just got to wait a little bit. And sometimes it just um, fails the, uh, for example, as I did over here, it fails the configuration of my exhibit. But it's rather neatly done. And it's very quickly, as you can see, undone. Uh, one of the best features ever added to the game. I don't know why I'm so happy about the bulldoze uh, tool, but I am. Uh, so if I didn't miss out anything, there's just one more thing I need to show you. And this is where we have to make a little cut. Now the very last feature is my very own feature, I wanna say. And this is the brand new sandbox option. So we're gonna create a new zoo for you guys and we're gonna go to the Taiga, say Europe. And we're gonna say the terrain tube uh, type should be diorama and we're going to say that rudy's mode just because we can and say create the menu uh, uh, the the game and oh god i'm so excited look at that it's so cool it's really it's really really cool mm. you know that i have started the uh, diorama mode and there you go you have a brand new sandbox mode floating in mid-air and you can create your very own diorama this is the fully functional game. The only thing is you can choose your own settings. It's almost like um, obvious that it is in the creative preset, but you can also change your diorama settings. So it's kind of cool. You can override the color and you can pick your own color. You can either make it like super green screen, whatever color you want, which is, which is really cool. If you don't do override, it's kind of this hazy kind of, you know, cloud whatever and then you can change the size as you can see and it almost acts like a, a sculpting tool which is kind of cool you just say update terrain and there you go it's done which um is pretty helpful because you can also obviously go in and edit the terrain as i can just do it over here you know just you just start doing and then you're like ah you know what no 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 i don't want it i don't i don't want it that way I just want to clean it off again and then just update terrain and boom, there you go. It's really cool. You can also make it like teeny tiny, boom, and it's back on. Really cool. I love it. It's so simple yet effective. Really cool stuff. The only little criticism I have over here is why the hell do we still need to put all the buildings down? Just give me a menu to drop in the animals. That would have been so easy, but um, they know that we can deal with it. If you go and play the diorama mode, uh, you basically know how to do it you know, how to deal with it. Anyways, let's go back and have a look at some animals while I'll give you my conclusion. All right, I'll leave my camera over here. You can see some of the hyenas and armadillos running around. Now, this DLC obviously goes into the category of the animal pack DLCs. And by nature, if you've seen my big rating video a couple of months ago, they are not that high up the list. But I can easily confirm that this is my favorite animal pack. Now, I know it's a bit scary because granted the fact it doesn't have a single aquatic animal, there is um, obviously something in it that makes me feel like this is the best DLC. And let me just give you a little idea to why. Now, we are a lot later into the game. That means the roster of animals keeps getting a little bit more hard for Frontier to make exciting. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, there are trillions and gazillions of animals left in the world to be brought into a zoo game. However, many of those animals that would create huge excitement are still amongst this category of animals that are pretty much likely not at, at all getting into the game whenever, you know. Um, full sea life seems to be off the, off the list. The same goes for full birds. So both of these categories are kind of done at this point. So going with the habitat type of things, um, they had a hard job to fulfill. And with this roster we are seeing over here, I think they have filled some really, well, really, really good gaps that existed. With the Amadillo, for example, we have a, another wonderful small animal that needed to be in here um, with uh, its wonderful armor and stuff. Like, a very exciting animal to have in the game. The striped hyena is definitely one of the two hyenas. I like, or let me put it differently. We have a lot of bears in the game, and pretty much every 
bear in a way was the same apart from the sun bear. So the sun bear was a cool addition too. But other than that, all the bears were copy paste. With the hyena, both hyena types are different enough to count as new animal for me and not a copy paste animal. I love the different animation. I love the different way of how they look. Um, like they really did a good job of that. And everything else in this pack is really well thought of, very nicely animated. And there's a lot to love about these animals. The one thing that makes it absolutely amazing for me is, well, actually, let's cut over. All right, so I can't help but find the butterflies, which are by far the most smallest addition to the game ever, the most exciting. Now, why is this the case? It's basically pretty simple. It's not like I'm not standing here or sitting here and telling you, hell, well, you know, we got five species. No, that's obviously a lie. It's like a nice story to tell, but it's just one species at the end of the day because we got butterflies and uh, with a different subspecies. Okay, granted, but it's almost like as if you get, I don't know, I mean, you know, people who are really into butterflies might disagree and they have a good reason for that, but it's almost like they gave us uh, foxes in six different skin colors, at least for me. Uh, at different sizes. I mean, it's not the same. I know. I definitely know. Okay, so we have five completely different types of um, butterflies, but they go into one exhibit. They can either go into one on their own or they go together. The one thing that's really important to me is this opens yet another door and these big exhibits have been a huge addition to the roster of animals and i really love that i did it because it gives us a lot more more flexibility and just in general i like the you know the pieces we got are solid again they did some typical frontiers of adding plants into an exhibit that are really cool and then not give these plants to us so uh, for whatever reason frontier I, i'll never understand that and they gave, gave us six different plants that usually should be done with one flexi color but okay it's fine i take it uh so overall uh, i definitely rate this thing very high when it comes to the animal packs of course it definitely wouldn't hold up to my favorite packs overall but that doesn't you know that doesn't say that this is a beautiful pack uh, which it clearly is so i really hope you guys enjoyed this overview and a very sorry for the difference uh, of this you know overview i had to bring it together somehow after all the problems so we won't have a speed build ready to get today i'm very sorry it's gonna be with you tomorrow hopefully if the computer is going to do it um yeah, I was just able to do it very last minute, so I, uh, yeah, I did have over a week of early access, but the problem was that my computer didn't have uh, patience to work for a week. In fact, it didn't work at all, and so I'm sitting here now uh, enjoying it very close to release, just as you guys. Ah, I'm very sorry for for not being able to give you more than that but i hope you guys were still uh, loving this video if you did please help me out by uh, subscribing to the channel or just liking the video or just watching the next one that is suggested to youtube right now this all will help my channel thank you so so much for your ongoing support have a lovely week and i'll talk to you in the next one goodbye